All right, a very good friend of mine who lives in uh, Boise, Idaho now, um, he was part of the uh, Hewlett Packard calculator team back in the day. And anyway, he was asking me about this uh, machine here. And I've had quite a few comments about, well, it goes to 40, 40 kilohertz, so why don't you play some music through it? So we'll, 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 we'll do that. Um, but he wanted to know, well, what type of total harmonic distortion does it have? That's an interesting question. So what I've done is I've hooked it up and uh, we'll be sending a, a 1,000 uh, 1, hertz tone through it. Let me hear you. Okay, so we'll be sending that tone through it. And um, we will then take the output of the amplifier and send it into a distortion meter. All right. And uh, there we go. It's 0.01% total harmonic distortion. Get that. That's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, let's see if we can't ramp up the uh, see, source, sign, one kilohertz. Let's bump it up to, let's say, five kilohertz. Let's see. Yeah, the distortion stayed the same. So let me see if we can play that tone. Oh, that's pretty high. All right. Um, and let's try something low. So, so the way this thing works is it has its own um, source in it. It has a very, very clean source in it. And that comes out this coax here. And I'm running that into the amplifier and then into the speaker or into back into itself. So it's, it, it goes back into itself uh, after it goes through the amplifier. So, it, so, so this wire goes into the amplifier. This wire goes from out of the amplifier and comes back in, okay? And so let's go back to source frequency. Let's go to, let's go to like say, I don't know, let's say 440 for you musicians out there. All right. Uh, doesn't matter what we're doing here. Don't want my distortion. All right. So There's an A440, and you can see our distortion is 0 0.01. If we add the speaker, of course, the distortion goes up because it's starting to have the uh, strange impedance of the speaker uh, screwing up your sound. Um, anyway, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. Um, people want to probably see it loaded with something like eight ohms. Let me, uh, let me do that. Uh, let's see here, one eight. Okay, we're gonna load it down with, load it down with eight ohms and see if the distortion goes up because that's what the amplifier should be running into, eight ohms. Uh, okay, here. All right, let me show you what I'm doing down here. Okay, I've got a, I've got a load box here. I've got my eight ohms. Go back and hook up the test leads onto the uh, onto the thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, and uh, we will go back up to the meter. And yeah, the distortion went up. So when it's driving a load, it's 0.15 percent total harmonic distortion. So there you go. Hope that answers his question. It's not bad. Let's play some music through it. And uh, it's not the best amplifier in the world, but it's not bad either. All right, here's some royalty fee music. seems to be muddy, so it might not have a very fast impulse response. Okay, let's play something else here.
Anyway, there you go. It does play music. 